Aha, my hearties. A very good evening to you. It's Friday evening and it's coming up uh, 19 minutes to 8 o'clock, just after 20 to 8 on Friday evening in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. You're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag float high, and I popped up just to say hi to every single one of you on TikTok. I hope you are well. How amazing is this? The TikTok lives are doing fantastically well. But do do me a favor. Make sure you share them and make sure you follow me. Very important. I know it's easy to say and I know it's easy for you to say, oh, I'm not doing that. But just do it because it's a terrific help. And I'll tell you why it's a terrific help, because there's so much happening in the land of McClue. And I want to share that with every single one of you. So very, very important that we do that. So there we go. Good evening. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you, Mason. So good of you for sharing the live and for telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And let's see just how many likes we can get with the old tappity, 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 tap on the screen tonight. Hello. Hello, Jake. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do do follow me, Jake, because we're wanting to build up our TikTok. And it was building at a tremendous rate. And then it sort of goes a little bit quiet for a while. I think I know why. Hello there, my dear China. Hello there, Ryan. Ryan, I was going to ask you, they're apparently having the Orange Walk in Glasgow this weekend because it got cancelled because of COVID. Now, is Orange on its way out? Has it had its day? Do you think anybody will turn up? I thought, I'll ask Ryan. So there we go. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Mason. Very much appreciated. And thank you, Jake. If everybody gets following, we could do quite well out of this little pop-up this Friday night. But please, as soon as you come on, first things first, follow Scotty McClue. And I'll tell you why. Because the new internet phone-in has started. That's how big it is, an internet phone-in. And we're going on tonight at 10 o'clock sharp. Do come and join us. It's spread across YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitch. So follow me on Twitch. If you've got a Twitch account, go to Scotty underscore McClue and follow me. Now, I don't know what I'm doing on Twitch. Uh, I, well, I know what I'm doing on Twitch. It's a brilliant platform, but I don't actually know technically what I'm doing. So if you can help me, that would be tremendous. And if you want to stream the phone in on your channel, let me know how I give you permission to do that. Scotty underscore McClue. But do follow us. Thank you, Jake. Tremendous stuff. Hello rare, my dear China. Hi, Scotty, I say. Keith, how lovely to have you with us. Sorry, Keith, <laughs> how lovely to have you with us. Hello from England. Hello, England. How lovely to have you with us. England, we love England. Fantastic. We love our English people. What's the situation, my good man? Well, the situation, my good man, is that we've got the phone in tonight at 10. And I'm wanting to know there's an orange walk in Glasgow. I don't know if many of you will know what that is. It's a very, very old-fashioned thing, going away back to 1690 and the Orangemen walk the streets. Now, they couldn't do it because of COVID on the 12th of July. So they're doing it now in uh, September. So that's what we're having tomorrow. Tell us what you think about that. Hey, up, lad. Hey, see for we... How are you? And I'm just asking Ryan, who's a fellow Glaswegian, if he thinks anyone will turn up for it. So that's what we're talking about. Yes, says Ryan. Here's Ryan coming back to me. The streets will be full tomorrow, no doubt about that. But the zero zero numbers are declining. Now, the zero zero numbers, what do you mean by that, Ryan? Uh, tell us a bit more. I'm always interested in your opinion. It shall be a glorious day, as was our parades in central Scotland last weekend. So if you paraded last weekend, Ryan, what's this for then? Do tell me more. It's a celebration of our cultural heritage, says Alco2622. Alco2622, what sort of cultural heritage what are you actually celebrating? Because I don't think it's a celebration at all. I think you mean a commemoration because a lot of people died in battle. There we are. And we know that King William was a very, very bad man. 
So there we are. The streets will be filled with clowns that are an ultimate embarrassment, says Steve. Now, Steve, how can you be so harsh on your fellow loyalists? You know, I mean, why will they be an embarrassment, for goodness sake? Have you seen Wee Nessie doing the loch? Well, how do you know it's Wee Nessie if you haven't seen her? Nessie may well be huge. Why would you call Wee Nessie a monster? Do tell us about that wonderful stuff. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. Hashtag float I, first lord of the internet. This is the big one. We've popped up live on TikTok because at 10 o'clock sharp, we'll be on YouTube. We will be on uh, Facebook Live. We'll be on Scotty McClue's LinkedIn, Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. So subscribe and tap the bell to receive your notifications of when we go live with the internet phone in. Can you see how big this could be? Massive. Good evening. I'm a loyalist for the UK, says Dr. David. Now, what's involved in that, Dr. David? Do you think the Loch Ness Monster is a thing? Well, Fox Fam, it must be a thing. It's been going for hundreds of years. There we are, or 100 years, I think. I don't know how old. Nessie herself actually is. Jutchison has just sent me 10 beautiful TikToks. I thank you, Jutchison. That's so kind of you. It's the orange order, says Ryan. Now, Ryan, what on earth is the orange order? Tell us more. The people need to be educated. Dinky do. Hello, sir, from Pennsylvania. I love when you are on. Rude Daddy. We love when you come on from Pennsylvania after William Penn. Why would you want to leave the UK, says Dr. David? I think because Westminster takes from Scotland and Europe gave so much to Scotland. And we should never have left Europe. And that's what's breaking up the UK. Brexit's broken the UK because the Brexiteers have betrayed the UK. Uh, who have we got? King William was an enlightened reformer. I don't think he was, Angela. I think he was a very, very bad man. So there you are. I won't just say all the dreadful things he got up to. There we go. A small correction. The Orange Order commemorates the Battle of the Diamond, not the Battle of the Boyne. So is the Battle of the Boyne a no-no to the Orangemen then? Because I've been hearing for years it was to do with the Battle of the Boyne. So tell us more about the Diamond. That's what to you know. So nothing to do with the Battle of the Boyne. That's just wiped out. But the diamond, tell us about the diamond. So there we are. Not so a small correction. That's a big one. Scotty, are you on at 10? We're on at 10, Kareem. Wonderful stuff. And I want everybody to go to just below my bio on TikTok and see the YouTube channel and subscribe and tap the bell. We should have thousands doing that by now. Dinky do. Damn, Dan, I think you're on the wrong channel. Brexit is amazing. Well, amazing for costing us £250 billion with nothing to show for it, unless you're a billionaire. Are you a billionaire? Did you manage to get out of your tax by taking four countries kicking and screaming out of a union of 50 years of peace and prosperity? Yes. The best James Bond, says Rue Daddy. I thank you, Rue Daddy. I've never actually been James Bond. I think it's got to be Sean Connery, although I did love Roger Moore. And I liked Piers Brosnan as well. And last week, I saw George Lazenby again in Honor Majesty's Secret Service. And he was very good. I don't know why he didn't get more. He looked very good in the kilt. Scotland gets so much from the UK. Scotland gets nothing from the UK. Scotland gives so much to the UK. £75 billion a year. So there you go, Dr. David. Now you've got your education, son. Now you're finding out about it. Scotland's treated just like Wales by Westminster. Poor cousins. Yes, and big 30th. That should never, ever be allowed because in actual fact, Scotland was supposed to be 50-50 with England when they joined. Guys, can I have more likes? Everybody watching should tap, 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 and join us tonight at 10 o'clock sharp, either on YouTube, on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue, follow us, and uh, on Facebook, and now LinkedIn. Scotty McClue's LinkedIn takes alive. No, the Battle of the Boyne celebrated on the 12th of July. 
that the order was formed at the diamond. So, Ryan, you need to tell us about the diamond. What is it? Is it a rock? Is it a river? Was it a battle? What happened at the diamond? You know, we need to know about it. And is orange a thing of the past? Is it probably dying out now? Happy Friday, my man. You still do radio. Well, just as we do the internet phone-in. We've only started two weeks ago, and it's very popular. I think you should join us for it. I quite often bring the TikTokers in. They can't do the phone in per se, but I bring them in on it at uh, 10 o'clock sharp on a Friday night. So do come and join us. The Battle of the Diamond was a skirmish in Armagh. There we are in the 18th century. So, ah, a skirmish, right? So why are we commemorating a skirmish, I want to know. Uh, with English tax payments, Scotland would cope. Uh, without English, no, no, Dr. David, somebody stuffed your head with a load of nonsense, right? The English taxpayers gain, they get fed by Scotland. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Tap, 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 tap. Everybody get tapping. There we are. Of course, Scotland would cope. Oil and gas, salmon, whiskey, wind farms, to name a few. There you are. Jutchison has informed you they are China's. Hello, Scotty dinky do. While Scotland's TV programs never network throughout the UK, well, they don't so much now, Steve. We used to network a lot of things throughout the UK. I mean, you could get Take the High Road, Taggart, all these programs, but ITV structure has changed a bit. When I worked for ITV seven wonderful years, uh, what we did was uh, we had 15 ITV companies and we swapped each other's programs. That's how in Scotland you get Emmerdale and Coronation Street and Minder and all that sort of stuff. Uh, people fall for these tax arguments in England. Scotland's a good economy. This will develop. Big 30th. I think you've got a point there. I think the English are poorly educated on Scotland, whereas the Scots know a fair bit about England. How can you be pro-EU but not pro-UK? Because, Dr. David, there is no connection. Westminster took us out of Europe. We are pro-Europe. So Westminster are Scotland's enemy. Can you see? Westminster also are forcing the union on Scotland because that pays the bills at Westminster. Now that they don't care about the Scots. I mean, Scotland hasn't voted Tory for... 60 years, 70 years nearly. Thankfully, it's not dying out. Ryan, do you not think it's dying out? I mean, a handful of old men in bowler hats commemorating a thing called the diamond most people have never heard of. That's what I would call dying out. Do you not think orange walks are like Guy Fox and Halloween and things like that? We don't really know why we're doing it. The EU takes your money just like you say. Things. No, no, Dr. David, wrong. What you're missing out, we were bust in the 1960s and we begged on our bended knees to join the, the EU. It was the common market at the time and then it became the European community and then the EC and the EEC. And, but it's a metamorphosis. And um, we were bust, and they said, no, you're not coming in, which was unfair after what we'd done for France during the war. It was General de Gaulle, Charles de Gaulle, who said, no, no, roast beef. And uh, so anyway, we said, look, please, please, please. We begged and begged and begged, and eventually they let us join, so we didn't go bust, and we benefited from 50 years of peace and prosperity from Europe. Yeah. And then we repaid them by running away when the going got tough. So uh, the EU has brought us Brexit's cost us 250 billion quid with nothing, nothing to show for it. Nothing. There we are. So there you go. The orange order is dying, says Steve. Right. Do you think this is its last, last flick of the tail, Steve? Favorite go-to food, my man. Just Chris, you enjoy yourself. 
Don't be like that, says good prayer, Pete. No, 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 you got me wrong, fellow. The diamond led to the foundation of the order. Ah, good one, Ryan, right. Now we're getting there. So the diamond was a skirmish, and that formed the orange order for the crown in the Bible. So when was the orange order actually formed? We do need to know. Do you support independence or are you a unionist? Well, I'm not political at all, Gregor. But economically, Scotland could do a lot better for itself uh, coming out of the union. So we live on whiskey and fish. Who will we trade with user? I think you're living in cloud cuckoo land, right? Let me explain to you. Scotland has been an independent nation for thousands of years and traded with Europe in all sorts of things. France, Holland, Germany, the Benny Lux countries as well, all of that. Scotland traded then by blip. We've had 313 years in a union that doesn't suit us. So there's no kind of who, how would we get on? Who would we support? Scotland has basically always been an independent country apart from this blip. And that was a Stuart monarch that brought the union about. Never going to give you up, says Gregor. Bless you, Gregor. I thank you. So there we are. So you don't need to live on whiskey and fish. You can live on roast beef. You can live on chicken. You can live on bacon. You can live on lamb. You can live on, um, on pate. You can live on potatoes. You can live on carrots. You can live on berries and blackberries and strawberries. You can live on fine wines. You can live on all these things. You can live on gins. You can live on bread. You can live on wheat. You can live on barley. You can live on rice. You can live on black pudding, white pudding, oatmeal, porridge. You can live on all these wonderful things, cabbages, carrots, everything, beetroots, onions. Yes, absolutely. So lots and lots of a living there. You have to help with your ambulance drivers. Don't be one-sided, Scotty. You have our help. No, 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 no. Not our help. Remember, Scotland is the backbone of the armed forces. Where would you be without all the Scottish regiments? Yes, indeed. The Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders. The Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders. The Black Watch. The Scots Guards. The Royal Highland Fusiliers. The Royal Scots Fusiliers. The Highland Light Infantry. Yes, indeed. Where would you be without them? The King's Own Scottish Borderers. Where would you be without them, I say to you? The Queen's Own Cameron Highlanders. The Seaforth Highlanders. The Gordon Highlanders. Where would you be? The Fife and Fourth for Yeomanry. The Scottish Horse. Where would you be without all of them winning you the First World War? the Second World War, all right? And then keeping the peace in Aden till you got out of Aden, the Argyles. Tremendous. Yes, indeed. Where would you be? Ryan says, uh, were you in a YouTube video at Ibrox? I may well be, Sander. Yes, indeed. Oh, you're asking Ryan that. Yes, indeed. I was, Sander. Take the high road was only shown in the afternoon. Yes, but that was to the network. It was shown in the evening. I think was it twice a week? Twice a week in Scotland. Am I right? It's difficult to remember. It's on again on the STV player. Nikki McHugh, good evening, Scotty from Airdrie. We love you in Airdrie, Nikki, and a big dinky do to you. I say, how fantastic is this? Guys, remember 10 o'clock tonight, we've got the phone in, the internet phone in. Go on to the YouTube channel in front of your face. The URL is just below my bio. It's in black. It's a hyperlink. Tap it, subscribe, and tap the bell. Do it now. That'll tell you when the notifications will come out. Uh, you know, the notifications will come out. That will tell you when Scotty McClure is going live at 10 o'clock. Here's one our twins watch, CBBS. Majority of these programs are Scottish orientated. Yes, what's the story in Balamore? What about that, I ask you? I can inform you more on YouTube as there's more room to type. I know what you mean, Ryan. We might actually go live on YouTube 
just after this for a bit. There we are. Do you vote Labour? Well, I don't really vote for anybody, Ryan. I'm apolitical. So I will I will cast a vote, but for the best party at the time. I don't have any great political allegiance. I'm a Scottish Brexiteer and vote Tory. Well, Angela, it's very nice to meet one of you. Are there any more of you or are you it? That's what I ask. I love watching you dance. It's so cute. Do you like my um, party bar? You'll see it in the TikTok videos, guys. Can we have more likes, please? Tap, tap, tapity, tap, tapity, tapity, tap. The English fall for classic Tory and media falsehoods. People need to stand up and have their own minds. See, I think we need our own media in Scotland. I can remember when they went to Lord Beaverbrook in the 30s and spoke to him about Scottish independence, and he was pretty keen on it. And he ran the, uh, what did Lord Beaverbrook run? Was it the Express at the time, I think? Yes, Beaverbrook Newspapers. Uh, and they also went out to see the um, Colonel McCormick, who ran the, now what was it? It was the big newspaper in Chicago. Yes, they went out to see Colonel McCormick in Chicago. What's the big newspaper? Is it the Tribune in Chicago? And, um, you know, he was very interested in Scottish independence as well, you're saying. Do you like chill or heat wave crisp? Do you like a chill or a heat wave? I like to be just cool. Scotty McClure is one of the coolest things on the internet. How amazing is that? The diamond led to the foundation of the order, but we celebrate the Boyne. Do we not commemorate the Boyne? Because a lot of Scottish people, you see, it was two kings fighting. It was a Dutch king who'd come over to take over the uh, the crown of Scotland and England in place of uh, his father-in-law. So he's fighting his father-in-law, James II. And James lost that one. And it wasn't long after that that Queen Anne, a Stuart, forced through the act of secession so you couldn't have a Catholic monarch because the monarchy had gone Catholic, Protestant, Protestant, Catholic, all that sort of stuff. There we are. Uh, I'm the same, Angela. I think you do. Now, you look like Obama. Thank you very much. That's a very nice thing to say. Being part of the UK, we had 300 years of peace and no wars. Dr. David, have you been drinking, my dear fellow? Yes. What do you call the First World War? What do you call the Second World War? What do you call the Battle of Trafalgar? What do you call the Battle of the Nile? What do you call the Battle of Abu Ghraib Bay? What do you call the Battle of Cape St. Vincent? What do you call the Battle of Jena, 1806? What do you call the Battle of Leipzig, 1813? What do you call the Battle of Waterloo? What do you call the Hundred Years' War? What do you call the Seven Years' War? Yeah? What do you call the Eden Emergency? What do you call the Borneo Emergency? What do you call the Korean War finishing in 1953? Uh, what do you call India? What do you call Burma? What do you call the rise of the Mau Mau in British East Africa in the 1950s? Uh, what do you call the Boer War in 1900? The Second Boer War, the first one in 1888, second one in 1900 to 1903. Um, now, these are just a few wars. What do you call the Troubles in Ireland? So let's read your quote again. Being part of the UK, we had 300 years of peace and no wars. So, Dr. David, where are you standing now? I always let my prisoners go. <laughs> right, there we go. Thank you very much. Yes, the Orange Order was formed in the same year as the Diamond. So the Diamond was 1795. 
coming up for 1800. There's another battle. Yes, indeed, for uh, for Dr. David's peace. Morning, Duke of the Dundee. Good morning, Onion Badgie. How lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do. That's what I say to you. Uh, what do we call the risings of 1715 and 1745? What do we call the Battle of Culloden in 1746? Is that another non-war? There we are. What do we call the Second World War from 39 to 45? Another non-war? There we are. Oh, yes, the UK is a peaceful place. The 12th of July parades will be around for many, many years to come. So it's not the last wag. Ryan, do you think so? Do you think anybody's interested? I mean, somebody was telling me there was going to be about thirty-four or 35,000 people coming to Glasgow this weekend. The official figure seems to be about four or 5,000 max. So, you know, let's get real. I mean, I've I get that watching my videos, you know. I could get that with one tweet. Uh, there we are. Scotland tried of its own empire, lost all its money. It joined with England for cash. No, no. Dr. David, 100% wrong. King William pulled the rug from under the de Ryan, Darian, Darian scheme. Right? King William pulled his money out and did the dirty on Scotland. So Scotland didn't lose its empire. The Scottish Empire, Scotland ran the empire for England. I'd live in anything other than historic bigotry. Steve, very good point. There's a reason to cancel the Orange Walks, because it's bigotry. Is this true? I ask you. I'm also a Lanarkshire boy, not a Glaswegian. Ryan, if you're a Lanarkshire boy, you're a Glaswegian. If you're a Glaswegian, you're a Lanarkshire boy, because Glasgow is Lanarkshire. Did you know that? There you go. Uh, Scotty, don't forget the gay Gordons. Yes, absolutely. I mentioned them, the Gordon Highlanders, Bridge of Dawn Barracks in Aberdeen. Evening, Mr. McClure. Evening, dinky-doo, my hero. Does anyone else think this guy's just racist to the English? No, Dr. David. I have spent a big part of my working life in England. A. I am very, very, very fond of my English brothers, sisters, cousins, aunts. B, how dare you? How dare you even think Scotty McClue could ever say or do anything remotely racist? So you've got that 100% wrong. I'm now falling down on your points completely because I've just told you the truth twice. I think you're just a wee bit annoyed because I completely wiped your argument out. All other English soaps were shown at peak viewing times. Scottish soaps were marginalised. Do you not remember Glen Rowe coming from Ulster Television? It was on in the afternoon. It was on at lunchtime. Broadcasting isn't devolved Scottish, so we lose out, Steve. Very fair point. When uh, we were going for the last vote in September 2014, and in fact, I think it's almost exactly seven years, it was the 18th, wasn't it? Let me see. Yeah. So uh, tomorrow, it's seven years since we had the last vote. Very close run thing. I think it was 55-45. Now they're saying it would be 52 for leaving, you know, and 48 for staying. Uh, and I was being widely tipped as the broadcasting supremo for Scotland. And that may yet still come. Who knows? McClure would be running it because I've run radio stations in Scotland. The Chicago Tribune, that was it, Steve. And Colonel McCormick, John McCormick, who was a big leading light in the Scottish National Party in the 30s when it was formed. Uh, he went out to see Colonel McCormick and Colonel McCormick and his lovely family fated him. So there you are. The BBC is mostly paid for by the English. Not at all, Dr. David. You have a wee mistake there. Uh, Scotland contributes 9% to the BBC, and at the last count, I read that they get 3% of programming. So Scotland is virtually giving you 
10% of, uh, of the license fee. Fantastic. But they're only getting 3% programming. My guy, Dinky Do, Six Leons. There we are. Say the station for the nation, Scott FM. Absolutely, Mr. Food. There we are. What's up, my G? Everything's up, nothing's down. There we are, Dinky Do, Scotty McClure. Good to see you. Same with you, Lachmer. I am a huge fan of yours, as you know. You said being in the EU, there have been 50 years of peace. What do you call the Gulf War? That wasn't started by the EU. That was America and Britain. So there we are. So I'm afraid nothing to do with the EU. The EU has never, ever started a war. They can't because they are not in charge of that side of things. The United Nations and NATO are in charge of that. So, Dr. David, you're getting it so wrong tonight. And then you dare to use an underhand trick like accusing me of even being remotely racist just because you've had a right good thrashing and you happen to be English. You would still have had a thrashing if you were Scots and talking the nonsense you're talking. So there we go. Uh, golf, yes, absolutely, the Gulf War. Yes, somebody got a hole in one. I was about on about the wars England versus Scotland, which you knew about. So there you are. No, Dr. David, you weren't on about that at all. These wars started in the 1200s, the Scottish-English wars. The Battle of Stirling Brig, where England got thrashed. So there we go. And Bannockburn, 1314. Yes. Evening, Scotty. Dinky do. Good evening, young sir. There we are. Good evening, military girl. I salute you, ma'am. Yes, fantastic. Evening, Scotty. Dinky do. How are you doing, sir? Flames fan. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, don't forget to join us at 10 o'clock sharp tonight for the internet phone in. If you've not got a home platform, go on to YouTube. You'll see the URL right in front of you, just below my bio on TikTok. Tap that. That's a hyperlink. It'll take you there. You have 17 people watching, not thousands. Dr. David, it goes on to thousands, right? I had little numbers like that just a few weeks ago. 10,800 watched the actual live stream. So there you are. So get it round you, chum. You'll never, ever do Scotty McClue down because I'm in my 37th year. Yes, 37 years television and radio. Newspapers, online, internet, the lot. Quite regularly, quarter of a million listening every half hour on the radio. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So sorry, Dr. David, very, very poor. Your attempt at a low blow fell again on stony ground. Evening, Scotty Dinky Do. Hello, Scotty. I'm a 26th generation descendant of Robert the Bruce. Welcome, Cameron. How lovely to have you with us, Bruce and Wallace, we say. Get sharing this, guys. Scrag says, hashtag vote I. Scrag, what were you at the other night about that losing listeners nonsense? We weren't losing any listeners at all. We were gaining. Yes, of course, the figures go up and down. It's fluctuations. Not going to lie, lad, I hate jocks. Well, you need to start sorting your thing out, dream clips, because I would imagine if you hate jocks, you don't know any. And I would think the word hate needs to be removed from your vocabulary. Because if you hate something, you're shutting off an avenue of learning. So my, my opinion is that you know nothing about the Scots. So I'm not going to lie, lad, that you are a dafty. There we are. Sorry for telling you straight to your face. How are you every day, Scotty? Should they bring back Brookside? I loved Brookside. I used to watch it Saturday afternoon omnibus, and I tried to watch it. What evenings was it on again? Was it Tuesday and Thursday? I'm just trying to think. Mr. Dinky Do, amazing Adam. Can you do your London accent? Whoa, of course I can, Goat Face. I could do my London accent. Not going to lie, but, you know, we can all do a bit of the old half garnet. Your Churchill now, he knew his stuff, didn't he? There we are. Loved it. Scott FM. Hello, I'm from England in America. 
my president. Yes, indeed. We've got you. Uh, Dr. David, I was the dafty last night. It's your turn tonight. There you go, Dr. David. I dare you to say breaking news tomorrow, Saturday, and we all need to rest. Max, apparently we were having an orange walk in Glasgow tomorrow. I'm wondering if anybody will turn up. What do you think? How are you today? Family fast, we're beautiful. I think Dr. David's the one needing a doctor after that. Jutchison, I had to tell him straight. The poor soul was a dafty. There we are. How are you? Everything you said was nonsense. Thank you for my beautiful red rose, Jeff. Jeff has sent me a red rose. Thank you for all your gifts, your lovely TikToks, all these things. So good of you. We might pop up on YouTube live after this, guys. So get onto YouTube and get following. Subscribe and tap the bell. Mr. Goldface, thank you for my lovely TikTok. Anyone down for some Minecraft? Now, if you ask Mr. Chies, Mr. Chies, if you're on Minecraft, are you on Twitch? Please go on to Scotty underscore McClue because I had two followers last week. Hadn't really done anything with Twitch. And now I've got 66 and I would like that to go up to 75. So if you can get on there, uh, get on to Scotty McClue's Twitch. Scotty underscore McClue. Follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue. Go to Reddit, Scotty underscore McClue. Go to YouTube, Scotty McClue one. So it's uh, www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. Get on, if you're feeling generous, pop something into gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue, paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. You know, pop a pound in there, buy me a pie on YouTube. It must have been my Wi-Fi, says Scrag, that was playing up Scotty. I was losing the connection now and again. Yeah, but Scrag, I couldn't believe it. We certainly weren't losing. We gain and gain and gain all the time. That's why we've got 17 and a half thousand followers. So I would say to everybody on TikTok, follow Scotty McClure. It's so simple. And we'll do the business for you. It's your channel. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Sue. Ha! Kement the hussa. Welch am kup te hebben? I'm a feeling mein klumpen. How are we today? We are beautiful today. Thank you for asking. Share the live. Megan, thank you for sharing. Has everybody followed us that's watching? Just follow. Share the live right now. Follow, follow, Scotty McClue. Follow, follow, we will follow Scotty. Maybe Dr. David is Tommy the Commie. Do you know, Scrag, you might have a point there. Dr. David's not the sharpest tool in the box. And his, uh, his lift doesn't go all the way to the top story. That would be classic Tommy the Commie. Name a footballer for an edit. We don't do all that clips. That's old-fashioned trolling. Don't bother with any of that nonsense. Follow us as soon as you can. Scotty, remember I was the dafty for wanting to abolish the monarchy and the laws. Well, Steve, you just didn't think that was your problem. You didn't stick to the facts. Always stick to the facts. The monarchy, 56 pence a year maximum. The House of Lords, worth their weight in gold. So there you go. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Is India Ref 2 happening? Well, we hope so, Gordon. But we don't know. We haven't heard much about it. And, uh, of course, there's no proper argument against it from Westminster. Nobody has ever, ever, ever put up a proper argument. It's just, you know, mudslinging that goes on and name-calling. There's no proper argument for staying in the union. Follow us, guys. Hi, I'm from Derbyshire, originally L.A., we love L.A. I think I might go to Hollywood. Yes, I'll either end up in Hollywood or Hollywood. What about that? Which should I do? How are you this amazing evening, sir? Sue, we are just outstanding. Thank you so much for asking. And we love Holland. I used to go from Harwich to the Hook van Holland. Yes, indeed. You're so funny. Thank you, D.V. 
Uh, can you do a rom? Uh, would that be what kind of rom are you talking? Random memory. Are you talking about a ram? Can you do a Robbie Burns? Oh, I could do a Robbie Burns. Fair for your honest sonsy face. Great chief to know the pudding race. I wouldn't the more you tack your place. Pinch tripe or thin. Will are you worthy of a grace? As lang as my ear. One can oh, why? There we are. I'm in Sydney. Dinky do Australia. We love it, Sydney, Australia. I haven't got my jackaroo hat to stick on. All right, stick on my jackaroo and we would chit chat, Sydney. Fantastic. We love you from down under. I liked uh, Uncle Sleepy Joe Biden the other day. I'd like to thank the guy from down under. Do you think he'd maybe forgotten the president's name? I don't know. It was interesting. He's a soul. He's a soul. I, what I'm hearing coming out of America is that America wants the Donald back ASAP. Am I correct to all our beautiful Americans, my fellow Americans watching now? There we are. Thank you, dear. Fantastic. Scotty McClue is popping up for you. Now, have you followed me on here? I bet you haven't. So tot, 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 tot. You deserve a finger wag. That's for not following. So get following and get sharing. Have you ever been in the Netherlands? Of course. I've been to Den Haag. I've been to Louis Dunen. I've been to Amsterdam. Yes, indeed. Fantastic. I had friends used to stay in the Jacques Perclan in Amsterdam. Scotty, I'm on my tea break at work. Martin, that's brilliant. That coincides with Scotty McClue popping up for a live. We like that. Dinky do. We think these lives are sort of a wee bit held back, guys. So get sharing them. They should by now be into the millions. There's 800 million people on TikTok. There's no excuse for every single TikToker not watching Scotty McClue live. So do everything you can to send this round. There we are. So fantastic. Thank you for my TikTok, Richard Marks. You are very, 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 very kind. Very much appreciated. Thank you for all your gifts, guys. There are people of such high caliber on TikTok. Of course, we get the odd daft wee troll. And we have a Dr. David tonight. But Dr. David, he is a human being. So let's not be too hard on him. He just doesn't understand what he's typing. But uh, let's not be hard on Dr. David, guys. Let your prisoners go, I say. That's McClure's motto. Come and join us as soon as you possibly can. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, hashtag float high. What does dinky do mean? Dinky do means is all well with you and the world. Are you a pirate? I'll be a pirate. I be short John Gold. There we are. Now, what do we got here? What's your interests, Scotty? My interests are wide and varied. Information, education, entertainment, the sea, history, yes, music, yes, language, communication, everything, art, fine art, all the countries of the world, people, animals, dogs, cats, OMG, OMG, say. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Cammy. Can you rap for us? Well, I did do a big rap recently. So, you know, I do not rap as a rule because I just ain't anybody's fool. I am very, very cool. And I would say tip tap if you want a rap. That's how good it is. This is what you're watching. I say ka-ching, ka -ching. Scotty, were you ever a military man? Longest way up, shortest way down. Her Majesty's Guard is ready to march off, Mum. Queen's Guard, slow march. Day, I write.
There we go. Your charisma is next level, Envy7. You are very, very, very kind to Scotty McCrew. I thank you. Now then, come and join us as soon as you can, guys. We need every single top ticker and TikToker. So what you need to do right now, you top ticker TikTokers, is get telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live at 10 with the world's top internet phone in. And we will be live on YouTube, on Twitch, on Facebook, and on Scotty McClue's LinkedIn. There we are. Orange, walk the more, Scotty. Yeah, do you think anybody will turn up, Andy? Well, just what we've been discussing tonight is the orange order dying out as it had it. What's the time over there in Scotland? It's five past nine, where I am, says Sue. It's uh, 27 minutes past eight, Sue. So that's very interesting. So you are, you are, wait till we see, 30. You're 40 minutes ahead of the UK. How can that be? Uh, you know, are you sure your clock's right? Sir, what are your words of wisdom for today? We have had so many words of wisdom tonight. Remember, guys, always, I can and I will. And when you're about to do something very big in your life, you say, this is the moment. And I am the one. Yas. Uh, well done. I complete 13 years I did of the Edinburgh to two. Ah, Jeff. Excellent. Did you like all that there? Were you a piper? Were you a soldier? Were you with the gun crew? Were you with the Japanese dancers, the fiddle players, the Highland dancers? Good words. I thank you. What about that? These are for you, W-Y-L-T-K. You sound like an American radio station. This is W-Y-L-T-K saying good evening. Fantastic. It's 5 a.m. tomorrow here. So where are you, Envy? Spill the beans. Are you in? If it's 5 a.m. tomorrow, then that puts you, uh, wait till we see, that puts you nine hours ahead. So are you in Australia? That's the stuff. Yes, we thought that envy. Yes, you did say to me from down under soldier. In the Irish Rangers, I was dancing. You'd be fantastic. Do the Irish Rangers wear the saffron kilts? Are you the guys that do Killalo? Oi! <laughs> fantastic. What device are you using now, sir? I'm using my brain, Sue. Uh, no, I'm just on the phone, Sue. But I'll use the big top, top range computer bought for me by beautiful people who gave me pennies so generously to set up the phone in. So if anybody's feeling flush and you want to send five bucks, you get tucked into your wallet and send them to gofundme.com forward slash Scotty Ivan McClue. Go send them to paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. Things like that. Yes, with the different cap badges and the kilt. Oh, we love it. The saffron kilts and your pipers are outstanding. Tremendous. I think I've heard you do Killalo in the city halls at Belfast. Is that right? A different room, I see. Well, Chunky, yes. We've moved into the library at McClue Towers. Dinky do, just got hangers and chips. Remember Bolts FM. Uh, wow, Andy, amazing stuff. Great. I love, love, love local radio, you know. And uh, very big in it, of course, for 35 years. So nothing wrong there. Last time I saw you, we were talking about a big contract about a radio show. How's it going? One of them, Neil, didn't materialize, but got back in touch recently. And another one, we're discussing it. Yes, you're 100% correct. Thank you. There we are, Jeff. By the way, I have a question. At what time are you live? 10 o'clock sharp UK time, Sue. And I would suggest, is YouTube your main platform? 
You'll get my URL right in front of your face right now, just below my bio. Can you see it? Guys, can everybody see my YouTube link just below my bio on TikTok? Do tell me, because I'd quite like to get onto that. What's the point of your channel? I honestly don't care. I'm engrossed. Envy, do you know the genuine point of my channel? The genuine point of my channel, because I never seem to make big money, and people say, this, is, this should be worth millions. It's fantastic stuff. But the genuine point was I feel that mainstream media is failing the people. And I feel that during the pandemic, we've had nothing but deeply, deeply, deeply saddening and depressing news. This is not good for people's mental health. So Scotty McClue pops up. We're lighthearted. We do very intelligent chat at times. We do stuff that's mad as a hatter at other times. We're lighthearted. We're funny. We're clever. We're interesting. This is not me. This All of us. This is you. And we banter and talk that makes us smile, that makes us feel good the way we should feel. And it makes the pandemic, we're not in any way, in any way making the pandemic less than it is. It's huge. But what we are saying is we have to survive. We can and we will. We are the people. Our humor has to survive. Our communication skills, communication, see what I just did there. Our communication skills have to survive. Our sense of humor has to survive. Look at every single one of my TikTok videos and they will make you smile. They're maybe not the cleverest thing on the planet, but as you say, I don't care. It doesn't matter because I care desperately about you and about everyone watching. Yeah? Sorry, I get a bit emotional there, but that's the truth of it. How do you get into the radio business? Mr. Goodface, I just sent them, well, I came from television, so I was kind of halfway there. So people were saying, why did you go and do radio when you were so good on the telly? You're a television man. What are you doing in radio? But I just fell in love with radio. But if you want to get into radio, you just do something good and send them a tape of it. Well, you don't even need to send a tape. You email an MP3 or an MP4. There we are. Should women be safe? You women should always be safe in the same way that men should be safe, Angela. Everybody should be safe. Angela, don't split men and women up. This is what feminism's tried to do. I know I'm the father of feminism, but this is what feminism's tried to do over the years. You see, feminism's a con on women. Governments dreamt to up, politicians dreamt to up to get you lot out the house, working and earning and breaking your back for the nation to bring in more tax so greedy politicians can gobble it all up spend it on their pals and things like that. So that's the reason we've got working women. Don't think it's for women. Nothing to do with women's happiness. In fact, every woman you talk to, once you get the honesty bit out of her, she wishes she was at home with her kids. Now, come on. I'm telling you the truth and you know that. But everybody should be safe and all women should be safe. There we are. And if a guy harms a woman, they should chop off the old uh, the old chuckies. Chop off the chuckies, I say. That will put a stop to it very quickly. Hi, Fish Stranraar. We love Stranraar, Laurie. We send love to you and to Stranraar because Stranraar is the gateway to Larn and Larn's the gateway to the Emerald Isle. What's your opinion on the Soviet Union or what? Well, it's a bit of a mishmash now. Because the old USSR has collapsed, really. And we're left with Mr. Putin's Russia. And Russia kind of doesn't really know what it is. There's talk of bringing back the Tsar. You know, stuff like that. Quote of the day, speak with honesty, think with sincerity, and act with integrity. Scrag, you're talking my language. Speak with honesty, think with sincerity and act with integrity, compassion, wisdom, and justice. I think these are the words on the Scottish mace presented by the Queen. 
Uh, where we are, what a man, Scotty. Well done. Life is too short. Absolutely, Jeff. So there we are. Scotty, I'm in them. Sending you to everyone I know. Envy70s. That is so very, very kind of you. Do follow us and come on to the phone in tonight. Phone me. I don't think it'll cost you a bean because I've paid for the number. I'll check that out. It's a Glasgow number. Uh, what is your opinion? So we've done that one, Sue. Yep. Scotty McClure, there's a moose loose about the Seuss. Keith Snedden, my theme tune for almost 30 years. Isn't that Lord Rockingham's 11? Were you in World War I? No, but both my grandparents were. My grandfathers. One was in the Scottish horse at Gallipoli, and the other was in the trenches at the Somme. There we go. Fantastic. Thank you, And they both survived. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scrag, absolutely. Yes, Scrag, I was just a bit taken aback because I know you're a big fan. And I thought, why is he saying to me we're losing viewers here? You see, the, diff the, the alternative would be not to put the TikTok on during the phone in. But a lot of the TikTokers love it. There we are. Honestly, before I knew your TikTok, my TikTok experience were very boring. Now it's fun. Sue, it should be fun. All these things should be fun. And this is actually TikTok's top talk show. It remains to be seen if TikTok actually have realized this and are sending it round to everybody via the FYP. Hashtag FYP. Is feminism a trap? Yes, chunky lover, of course it is. Women used to keep the house for their, their men and their families. Right, and they loved it. They worked very hard, but they loved it. And then in the afternoon, they could put their feet up and watch Take the High Road. Yes. Then out comes, come on, get the women out to work. That's it. We should have our own money and our own jobs. The women went out. The children all got brought up with their grandparents. So you've got all these wee old people running about. And then they pay everything they earn for childcare. So where's the attraction in having a family where their marriages fall apart because nobody's ever in? So you sort of greet your man with, I love all right. And he says, I love all right. And that's it, really. As an Aussie with a Scots missus, your thoughts on the referendum? Envy, I think we should give it a go. Whether or not we get it, give it a go. But don't do any of this once in a generation rubbish. Just say, look, we're going to give it a go. We might give it another go next year. You see, Emma's back home in South London. Aha, Angela. Thank you, do. Who started it? The feminism. The government, but they put it out so the women thought they'd started it themselves. They're going, come on, girls, let's burn our underwear. Oh, good one. There we are. Yes, indeed. So that's the end of all your, your sexy gear and your men wanting to desire you. And all that stuff. So do you see what's happened? Do you like Biden? I don't know him, Jemo. I've not been introduced to the man. So I couldn't give an opinion on him. But I think that uh, they're missing the Donald in America. Might be kind of disrespectful to us, but what's your age, sir? It's never, ever, ever disrespectful. The only We don't know what age I am because I wasn't born. I was knitted by my grandmother. But I'm between 28 and two million, because I'm a time traveler. So it's something like that. Do you see what I mean? Independence for Catalonia. Well, we don't know enough about it, Neodimio. There we are. So I say to you, see, see, we need to investigate. There we are. Never disrespectful, so don't give it a thought. Um, it wasn't born yesterday. No, I was not born yesterday. I did not come up the River Clyde on a bike. I tell you, I'm going to have to go, folks. We're out of time. It's been a joy being with you. I send you love and blessings. This is Scotty McClue saying thank you to every one of you. Join us at 10 o'clock sharp on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Get onto the YouTube channel and subscribe. Dinky-doo. Haste you back, my darlings. Dralas. <laughs>